Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and today I'm here with a very special video for you guys. If you can tell by the title, I am doing a inspired celebrity makeup look. And again, if you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail of this video, I am recreating the makeup look that Rihanna wore at 2013 Grammys Awards show. She looked amazing on that red carpet, let me tell you. I don't know if it's because, you know, her and Chris back together publicly and they ain't got to hide no more or if you know she's at the Grammys and she got to perform whatever the case may be she looked amazing she was glowing her dress was gorgeous her makeup was flawless and out of all of the celebrities there her her makeup look was the most captivating like it was the one that caught my attention the most and a lot of my subscribers uh, asked me to recreate that look and I was like hell yes I'm gonna recreate that look and by by all means the most stunning out of everyone that walked that red carpet so I definitely wanted to bring this tutorial to you guys there is a twist to this I will only be using drugstore makeup products because I want to show you guys that you can look like a million bucks and have that celebrity feel for a very inexpensive price uh, you don't have to break your pockets to feel and look like a celebrity um, so that's something that I really want to stress to you guys so if you guys are interested in seeing how to recreate Rihanna's makeup look from the Grammys 2013 show then stay tuned okay so you all know that you need a primer to keep your eyeshadow lasting long and prevent it from creasing so I'm just going to use my NYX eyeshadow base and I am using a natural tone eyeshadow base but it also comes in white. Next I'm going to follow up with a brow highlight and I'm going to use this bronze color by Forever 21 and I'm just going to apply a little underneath the brow using my Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend that color downward. Taking a skin tone colored eyeshadow, this is Blame It On Midnight by NYX. I got it from Ulta as well. I'm just going to pop this right beneath the highlight of the brow and right above the crease, making sure to blend it all together. And this will actually act as a transition color, which will help blend the eyeshadow look together seamlessly. Next, going in with a rich reddish brown color, this is Dance the Tides, very similar to MAC Saddle. I'm just going to pop that onto the outer V of the eye using my blending brush by Crown, which is also very similar to Max 217 brush, and I'm just going to blend that color into the crease. And then any harsh lines that I see, I'm just going to buff it out with a little bit more of the Blame It on the Midnight or Blame It on Midnight eyeshadow. Next, going in with my neutral palette by Sonia Kashuk, I'm going to take the reddish brown on the left hand side and I'm going to apply it right on top of the Dance the Tides on the outer V making sure not to go all the way up and then I'm just going to buff out any harsh lines that occur. Taking my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette I'm going to take the lightest gold here with my finger and I'm just going to tap it onto the eyelid making sure to drag it outward towards the outer V. If you do happen to get any of the eyeshadow um, past the crease, just make sure to blend that out because you want everything to just blend together seamlessly like I said. Taking this dark chocolate color here in the Sonia Kashuk palette, I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line using an angled brush and this will act as a drop shadow. To open up the eyes, I'm going to use my 48 Lashes by Nigel's Beauty Emporium. And Rihanna wore lashes um, on the red carpet and it just made her eyes pop. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to take my Luscious Lashes Mascara that I got from some little clothing store in San Bernardino. And I'm just going to apply that to my lashes so it blends in with the false lashes. I really love this mascara. It does wonders to my lashes. And then I'm just going to apply it to the lower lashes. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Studio Gel Liner and my Sonia Kashuk Eyeliner Brush. And I'm just going to line my top lash line because I want to hide that band on the eyelashes. 
And then taking this gorgeous champagne color by Milani. This is like a baked eyeshadow. It has sparkles. I'm going to dap that, tap that onto the uh, eyelid. And if I got any sparkles in the crease, I'm going to just blend that out with my blending brush. And I'm going to fix the eyeliner to make it more black and get rid of the sparkles. For the foundation, I'm using my handy dandy CoverGirl All Day Flawless 3-in-1 foundation, which I absolutely love because I don't even have to set it and it gives me a flawless finish like I'm wearing foundation concealer and powder but I'm really not and uh, this is in color 805 and I really love this foundation next I'm going to take my elves bronzer kit and this is in Turks and Caicos which is three dollars on the site I'm just going to deposit some of that color onto the hollows of my cheeks, making sure to use circular motions. That way I deposit some of that color onto the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going for a really bronzy look. Rihanna looked very bronzy and glowy on the red carpet, so that's the look I'm aiming for. And I'm just going to contour like the outer perimeter of my forehead. And then next I'm going to follow up with my Princess Contour Powder. And this is by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to apply a little to the apples of my cheeks. I really want a bronzy look. And that's what I'm going for. And that's what I shall get. And then I'm applying my Burt's Bees Lip Balm to moisturize my lips. Using 911D, which is Spotlight Fire. And it's a really pretty red from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to apply a little to my lips, making sure to stay away from the edges because I'm going to perfect the edges using a um, lip brush. And this is a synthetic brush. You can get any synthetic brush to perfect the outer corners of the lips. And it looks like you're wearing lip liner, but you're really not. Beautiful color. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating it. Be sure to thumbs up this video and share it with your friends for more inspired celebrity tutorials. Bye!